Hey guys, what is up? So, uh, I want to bring you guys a video before I bounce out of here and leave town for the week. I'm leave you with something pretty cool. So, uh, this video has already been done by somebody by the name of Co Nasty. You guys probably know him. I mean, if you're following me, you're probably following him. If not, I'm going to go ahead and put a link up to here or over here or wherever it pops up at to his channel with a similar video to him making this. So, uh, what I'm doing today is we have the Fat Shark goggles and we have a set of uh, earbuds here. And some people like to uh, listen to their quad as they fly and Fat Shark provides that option through an audio jack with just a single um, earbud. So we're going to, our goal here today is to modify these into a shorter um, version that just plugs in and allows you to monitor your audio. Um, somebody you probably see this on quite often is uh, Mr. Steel with Rotor Riot, and Co Nasty is the one who made the first one for him. And a lot of people were asking him, you know, hey, where'd you get that? How do you make it? And uh, so I had plans to make this video a long time ago, and just kept pushing it aside, pushing it aside, and Co Nasty beat me to it. He got a video out, which he deserves it. He made Mr. Steel's, so he should be the first one to get it out. But I figure between uh, his and my video, maybe you'll learn something and you should be a professional at uh, building these by the time we're done. So we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna go ahead and just go over a few things. Um, obviously, you're gonna need a set of earbuds. These are just some cheap uh, Skull Candy, probably $5 Walmart ones, nothing crazy. Um, you're gonna need your Fat Sharks. I mean, if you're not using Fat Sharks, I don't know what else they work on, but there might be some other uh, headsets. If you want to bling them up, you're going to want some type of sleeving. This is a uh, sleeving I used for custom wiring my computers that I do. Uh, there's, I have different colors here. i got some gray, just in case the white doesn't show up good on the video. Um, but I think I'm going to go with white because it's just clean. <laughs> and um, also something else you could use, just so, since we're going over the topic, you can see the flex profile on some Paracord 50-50, or 500, Paracord 500. Um, is a lot more uh, nimble, more flexible than this uh, plasticky type of, uh, I don't even know what to call it, uh, just uh, sleeving. So if you want something that drapes a little bit better and hangs, you might want to go with this and you just cut it and then you can pull out the uh, actual strengthening cable inside of it and now you have a hollow sleeving that you can run regular cable through. So if you didn't know about that, I do a lot of computer cables, people buy custom uh, paracord colors and then I'll sleeve their computer cables so something you can do but I don't want a military green color so I'm gonna go with this white sleeving which is a little stiffer but uh, it'll do the job uh, you're gonna want some heat shrink I already got some white heat shrink here it's cut for both sides and then uh, I'm gonna do something that he didn't show you uh, Konasty didn't show you which uh, you don't really need to do this, but I'll show you how to determine when you get down to your main plug which one is actually uh, the left or the right, depending on what you want to use. In this case, we use the left, uh, and that's just using the continuity on there. Uh, definitely a great tool to learn if you don't have one of these already. If you're building quadcopters, I suggest getting one. And just your pliers, and what a great opportunity for me to use my new TS-100. So. I'll probably do a review on this, uh, we'll see, I mean there's a few out there already, but uh, you're going to want a soldering iron, so this thing's pretty pretty cool actually. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the camera zoomed in more on the work area, and we'll get started, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so uh, hopefully you guys got a good view of my work area here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just start off by grabbing the headset, and you could uh, you could actually test this by just turning on your goggles, plugging it in, and you're going to hear uh, the static, or you could plug in a quad. Uh, for example, this one's using the uh, Swift 2, has a mic in it, or if you're using like a PNP 50 like Mr. Steel does, it also has a mic in it. Plug it in, maybe set it by some music, walk away about 10 or so feet, and you can uh, listen in through your fat sharks and make sure you're hearing it through the right one. So in this case we know we want to use the left. So this is the left earbud and just like Konasi did, we also want to use the majority of the thicker cable. It's just higher quality, 
uh, a little stronger and it will f fill in the uh, sleeving a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and determine that I, how much cable I want. So I'm going to cut off just a little bit extra right now. So we're going to go all the way to how much sleeving I have and we're going to cut right there. All right. And you guys want to know what I just did completely wrong that I was going to show you <laughs> and it's my mistake is I was going to show you how to determine which side of this was left and which side was right. And it totally failed because I jumped the gun and I cut it before <laughs> I tested it. So what I was going to do to test that just so you guys know is we were going to take the left earbud again which is this one and we were going to cut it off like so so you have the left earbud cut and then if you strip the left, left earbud to show the wiring you're going to have your normal ground and positive and what you can do which isn't really going to work now again because I cut it but uh, hopefully I can explain how this works you're going to take your multimeter turn it on so the one that looks kind of like a Wi-Fi signal which is kind of or a speaker um, and make sure that it shows up on the screen depending what model you have and you touch these together you hear a beep so what you could have done if these were still connected is and maybe I, I can rig something up here to show you or I'll go grab another headset and destroy it to show you is you could have touched the inside outside or tip and then also touched this at the same time and if you would hear it beep you know you got the left if you don't hear it beep you know you got the ground or the right so let's strip this one actually let's see if there are different colors inside oh check this out so this may just save the day I wasn't expecting this but um, if you look closely hopefully it shows up on the GoPro we have copper and green copper and red well Let's just mock this one up to a failure, and uh, if I wouldn't have cut it all up, in theory, if you were to cut one in, check the continuity between these, you would know which side is left and right. Obviously, we are just going to throw this out the door today. And let's just get back to building this, because this is all you guys actually care about. <laughs> um, so, back to what I was doing. Luckily, these were color-coded. Since they are color-coded, we are not going to have to worry about uh, knowing which side is uh, right and which side is left. Okay. This, I mean, you can save it to make another one or junk it. I'm going to throw it over there. Now, this is the other part that you need. The headset itself. I'm going to do the same thing. Just strip it down. And uh, there we go. So actually, since I, ha I know I have um, this much sleeving to work with, I am going to actually trim this down a little bit further. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is sleeve it first, because once you uh, solder these two, you're not going to be able to sleeve it. It would have probably made it easier to be honest uh, before stripping it to sleeve it, but not a big deal because this stuff expands. So I'm just going to push that in there. Okay. And then also you're going to want to make sure that you slide your heat shrink on before you solder this up. Otherwise, you're not going to be getting any heat shrink on. Tiny frail cables are the hardest to work with, let me tell you. Let 
Now this stuff is really hard to uh, heat shrink, so we'll be using electrical tape, just a small amount to uh, ensure that it doesn't touch. So check this out. I am excited to use this thing. Let's see how this thing works. All right. We're just gonna plug it in to a 4S. And looks like it came on. Press it, and it's gonna heat up. It's in Celsius, and I think its default is 300. Look how fast that thing gets up there. We're already at 200, 250, 300 Celsius, and I, I don't know, I didn't count it, but what, 10 seconds? And. solder here let's go ahead and see oh yeah all right so we're gonna go ahead and heat up this wire and that is nothing wants to go my way I'm really thinking they coated it so you don't know if you guys are aware of this but they can coat wires with an enamel so that they don't need rubber insulation on them they could run really thin wires in a small rubber insulation, which is what you're looking at here. So this green and this red that we were seeing is the insulation. So what I had to do there is I had to heat it up enough to where we melted through that insulation enamel and the solder actually soaked in now. Um, again, that's why we weren't able to get the continuity earlier because the green is the enamel and we have to get past that green before we can get that continuity. So there's that. And stick that right here. Let's go ahead and get these wires. Actually, before we do that, grab a small amount of electrical tape. Let's just solder this up and test it. shrink these ends. And there we go. Nice clean white and blue and black cable for the fat sharks. Let me go ahead and test it now because this would be like number five on the failure. So I see the static, so we know we are on. Let's go ahead and plug it into the audio location. Let's turn this camera upwards so you can see what I'm doing. And I hear the static. So even though I was failing left and right on getting continuity. They did end up soldering and we are looking good. All right. So one thing is if you did get like a right angled uh, pair, this would actually drop down. It might actually look a little better than popping out like this one does, but that's not too bad, right? What do you guys think? So, uh. Please like and subscribe. Make sure you're smashing that like button to show how stupid I am. How stupid I am. <laughs> and can't get anything to go my way today in this video. But uh, thank you guys. I'm going on a trip. I'll come back in a week. We'll get that stop motion out. And please subscribe. Later.
don't drink, and try to make YouTube videos. Why you have to solder and be technical. It doesn't work.